Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Cancer, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Cancer, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right. Cancer newcomers, I'm set setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Cancer, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, the moon in reverse. So either something has come to light cancer or somebody wants to tell you the truth. I do sense one person is a little depressed here. They want to come out of this depression. They, um, they want to come forward but they feel things are stagnant. Maybe they feel they've, they've been dropped now. They may, may be feeling the other person's turned their back on them or um, they just could be lonely right now. The other person is sitting in their power and saying, hey, I'm not chasing anyone. They played mind games with me, they behaved badly, they were arrogant, they were rude, they made me feel bad about me and uh, I did want to work things out with them. I did see them as a soulmate but it's over now, it's ended. They stabbed me in the back. I have to keep it moving, I have to move forward towards my own peace and happiness. So at least that's the feeling I'm getting right now, I could be wrong, I'm going to of course clarify all these cards for you Cancer. But first let's start with some, um, um, let's ask the universe first uh, as to why we are here, what's the underlying theme for this reading? Uh, my universe, spirit guides, angels, why am I doing Cancer's reading? What's it all about? What's the basic theme behind this reading? What's going on? Oops, that's too many. Cancer spirit. One more. All right. Cancer, the first card I have here is expectation. Keep expectations for this connection neutral. Maybe somebody had high expectations and th those didn't get fulfilled. Effort. Maybe there was a lack of effort from the other person's part or maybe a different approach may be needed in this connection. Protection. This connection is being divinely guided. Now whether it's towards each other or away from each other, I don't know. <laughs> Cancer, let's, um, let's start the reading and find out and uh, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify the rest. Cancer and that person's spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and their person. Cancer and their person's spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, let's take a few more from another day, Cancer. Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and their person. All right. Just a few more Cancer from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Cancer and their person spirit. Cancer and their person. All right. Good to go, Cancer. Let's start the, re the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, allow me to work on me so I can work on us. Somebody has gone into hermit mode. I think try, they're trying to figure out where they went wrong and what they need to do. How, how do they need to get this connection back, I guess? Every song I hear reminds me of you. Maybe the universe is guiding them back to you. I don't know. Because electronic media is a great source for <laughs> the angels to send messages. And well, maybe lyrics of songs are now coming to this person's ears where they are re realizing where they went wrong and what they should be doing. It wasn't you. It was me. 
I am to be blamed. I accept fault for this. I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. Life hasn't been too nice to me and I took that out on you. I was dishonest with you and myself. I lived one big lie. So this hermit mode this person has been pushed into, I guess one they are kind of now realizing where all what all happened and where all this connection went wrong. I really haven't been happy without you. You always knew how to make me smile. I talked to you a lot in my head. I've been dreaming of you. I always knew you were my other half. Your presence in my life has turned my world upside down. And your sexy body has me drooling. Giving up and leaving just seems so much easier than to deal with any more pain. I think one person always knew <clears throat> but they didn't get the collaboration or they didn't get the effort from the other person. So they could be leaving. Missing you so much. We truly did have something special. I miss you so much that it feels like there's a real pain in my chest. I won't show you that though. Manifesting myself so I can be good enough to win you back. The journey has been difficult but needed. I'm proud of who I've become. And the last card, card here, Cancer says, I got a whiff of your scent. It made me smile remembering you. All right. So these are some of your messages, Cancer. These were resonating with your storyline. Let's start the reading. But first, of course, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Cancer gang today with. Blessing, guidance, advice, or a message, a miracle. <laughs> Cancer, the universe is sending you a miracle. So be very, very mindful of what you are thinking, what you are manifesting, because it just may come true. Blessed with a miracle, Cancer. All right. So spirit, tell me what's happening here now. And uh, newcomers, um, have, these are two soul energies in front of me. Okay. If this is your reading, You'll be one side and the person connected to your energy is on the other side. Now, I don't know which side you're on. Mm, this is not gender based. And of course, if this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up who this person is, right? It's a soul family person, could be a, a love interest, could be a spouse, could be an ex, could be a secret crush or a family, um, family member, yeah, a sibling, a best friend or even a business partner or somebody who's, you know, in your life, somebody who's strongly in your life. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, Cancer, I'm going to focus only on one side, which is person A for me. After I'm done with person A, then we'll go to the other side. Okay, so person A, okay, let's, let's talk focuses on you right now uh, in your feelings in your emotions you have the four of cups in reverse why is that what's the four of cups in reverse yeah person a is uh, is kind of taken some time out to think maybe or reflect they could be a little depressed right now Oops, that's too many cards. Yeah, they're feeling a little imbalanced because they feel they lost out on their uh, stability or their person has turned their back on them. They could be thinking about what went wrong. Yeah, there's a lot of regret, shame, guilt, remorse for th things that kind of didn't work out. I think now they have made up their mind if they, this person was, you know, kind of confused or they had options. This person has now realized that person B is the one. This is the one I want to move towards. And actually they do want to rush back, rush towards person B and say, hey, you know what, I'm ready for commitment. I'm ready. Let's start a passionate brand new journey together again. Or I want to put in work towards this connection. Uh, you are my happiness. But... But this person is a little stuck. They're stuck, I think, because they feel the other person has given up on them. Two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because the other person has gone silent on them, right? So they, they feel the other person's ended things with me. They've given up on me. They're not talking to me. 
so yeah they're going through a tower realizing that they're, they are kind of feeling a little rejected at the moment uh, going through a tower feeling hey I've chosen them now I want to rush towards them but what if they've already given up on me they're not talking to me they they could have ended things with me this is like a there's a there's a bit of rejection feeling that I'm getting from person A's side because they feel the other person has turned their back towards them now why do you feel this way person A tell me chariot what's the chariot you feel your person's moved on yeah they feel their person is taken back their power is very strong has pulled back their energy is uh, standing tall in their own life maybe uh, you know left them and is charging forward in their own world well, who knows maybe they already have a passionate brand new uh, offer elsewhere what if they are already in a commitment so they are kind of stuck right now uh, page of pentacles i feel things have really stagnated between the two of you one more it's almost like this person feels uh, they got their karma for their bad actions they feel that person has cut them out of their life will never trust them again uh, is probably very angry and bitter with them uh, they, they, it's almost like this person is feeling yeah i deserve that this is my karma for whatever i did or i didn't do in the past yes but now the secret that this person has been holding in their heart for a very long time is they do see person B as the person that uh, they want to grow old with. This is the person who is perfect for them. But maybe they never made a decision. They thought they had enough time. They were still at crossroads saying, I, you know, I'll decide later or something. They may have kept that a secret. Uh, and now they feel that the other person has given up on them and will not want me back in their life will not see me as a few fu potential future partner so they're trying to find out the truth or they're trying to figure things out from what i feel person a tell me how do you feel about the connection now and how do you see person b uh three of wands what's the three of wands yeah person a says i've been blocked home karataro I made some very foolish, unwise decisions in the past, or I didn't make wise decisions. Uh, I feel my person has turned my, turned their back on me. They've blocked me, and um, um, I've lost out on a great partnership because of my own foolish or unwise choices. I'm, they could be very lonely as well right now because uh, they're not sure whether they, there's any possibility now of getting a second chance they're feeling a little sad little feeling in hermit mode feeling isolated because they feel what if the connection is already over what if my they, they feel they feel the, the other person has kind of given up on them as a toxic human being or somebody who's very arrogant or st uh, stubborn or um, somebody who's never ready to offer you know any stable brand new beginning uh, why this is all these thoughts are going on in their head because I, I don't think there's any communication between the two of you right so this is all that they are in their sadness thinking yeah they must be thinking that about me I'm, I don't know whether I'll get a second chance I do choose them I should have told them earlier why did I keep it a secret now you know it's been you know time maybe they've already found somebody else so all that is going on in person A's mind and uh, what action they'll take is here which I'll open later though cancer let's go on to the other side and see how person B is feeling so person B you in your feelings emotions empress what's the empress Yeah, person A says, I've, I, I regret even returning back to person A. Maybe, maybe person B is the one who returned time and time again, tried to make it work, feeling this, is, this can end up in a happily ever after. But they had no victory. Person B says, I got no victory from, you know, trying to show them that this is supposed to be a happily ever after. And they, they never made that choice. Even though I saw that we could be happy together, all they did was play mind games with me, put me down. It was always their way or the highway. And uh, they, they, they were just not interested. They were just not interested in a commitment. And all they did was create a lot of drama in my life. So now I've picked myself up and 
as much as I saw a potential for growth and happiness and babies and commitment, marriage, and that's what I wanted with them, but they didn't see me. So now I'm not chasing them anymore. I'm kind of uh, more focused on uh, creating my own stability, my own abundance. I don't want to deal with somebody who's just going to come and have passion with me and create drama in my life. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to heal my own broken heart. And that I'm doing by safeguarding my energy. I'm keeping the door closed for now. Okay, so person B tell me, why do you feel this way? Three of Pentacles. What's the Three of Pentacles? I think something happened here which person B got angry about. Person B got angry about something. Could have been that they were trying to make it work and the other person was not uh, reciprocating or um, maybe person B wanted their person to take a leap of faith and you know, work things out and they didn't or maybe person A was probably busy with their work or had third parties or their attention was not on person B basically. Uh, something happened here which made person B feel like they were being treated like a fool or um, it just made them mad, made them angry even though, even though person B really did feel person A is their soulmate. This is my twin flame, this is my soulmate but but things never moved. I mean, they, they were so stagnant that they finally ended. Yeah, chapter shut, chapter shut down because their person would not step up and meet them halfway. I think person B really did love person A. They did feel that this is a perfect, perfect partner. This is my soulmate. And they kept giving their cup, but they felt the other person was not reciprocating. So something came out, some truth came out, they realized something and now I think the person B is saying, hey, you know what, I'm just staying, keeping myself trapped in a situation, thinking that they are my soulmate and they'll come back, then they'll, you know, put in work. But my person, they are still so, you know, head over heart and they're so rude to me and you know when they talk to me it's like they don't love me they're still saying that you know I can't make a decision and they still don't see my worth and value and time is going by and I don't want to be single for the rest of my life waiting for somebody who's never going to be emotionally open right so I think person B is a little upset because of that person B tell me how do you feel about the connection now how do you see person A and how do you feel about the connection Ten of Swords. Person B, per B says, I, I feel betrayed, I feel hurt, I feel, um, I feel my person just makes unwise and foolish choices uh, and I did love them very much. I was over giving, I was over pouring into them and they were giving me so little, so little that uh, I realized that now, you know what, I have to take my love back. I have to put a lid on that cup of love, take it back, keep it for myself or for somebody new. And the first step I think person B has taken is to cut off communication. Why? Because they felt that uh, they were not emotionally getting fulfilled in this connection. I don't know what was revealed, something was revealed to person B. And after that they decided, hey, you know what, I need to keep it moving. I need to move on. And uh, why? Because I'm, I've tried enough. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, and now I'm giving up. I am dropping the burden. I'm going to now only heal myself. So, what's the Six of Swords then, person B? Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords, person B? Yeah, person B is trying to heal their own broken heart. They're saying, you know, I'm, I'm leaving this conflict behind. I have to move towards my own peace and happiness and harmony in my life. I need to, you know, sue back my broken heart. Um, basically, person B feels that as much as they thought that person A will come back or they are their soulmate, they felt unseen, unheard, unloved by person A. So now let's see what actions you guys will take. Okay, person A, I think you've realized who you want, but will you take any action to tell them now? Let's see. And uh, I'm going to take this deck now, Cancer, and 
course you all know now i'm going to request you remind you if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated thank you and newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in all right person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise king of swords what's the king of swords have you come to some clarity or you're ready to talk are you ready to be honest what is that yes they want to make things right oh that's nice not only do they want to make things right this king of swords is saying i know i was the king of swords in the past but now i'm ready to be a king of pentacles i want to step up and offer them everything that they ever desired i just want to make things right they've come to some kind of clarity that maybe they were wrong in something yes this person definitely wants to reunite cancer they want a reunion and because they see that the other person is their perfect match and their total happiness this person is hoping that past can be forgotten and a new dawn can emerge so will you take any action that's what i asked you person a will you take any action to do that i know you want to Wheel of Fortune, lovers again, the same cards, two of swords. Maybe not this week, because they're waiting for the right time. Uh, this person could be planning. I mean, I, I see this person is making some big plans. They are kind of stuck in their head as to now what to do, how to bring this transformation. There is a bit of fear, I think, also in coming towards the other person in case the other person has moved on or something or has a new lover in their life or something like that. They know they need to put in a lot of work to get this connection going, but they are missing person B like crazy. I mean, if even if they are not making a move this week, uh, Cancer, this person is really in tears. They are stuck here. They're trying to figure out how to now start this communication, how to explain, how to, you know, get the ball rolling again. They're going through a huge tower. And I have a feeling out of the blue, suddenly, one day, they may just get onto their chariot and come forward. Right? This is like sudden movement and chariot. But as of now, I do see, I see them a little worried. They could be thinking, they could be overthinking, they want to come in correct, they want to say the right things, but they are preparing to talk and clear the air. Okay, so person B, what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise? Person B's action towards person A spirit or otherwise in their own life. I got the four of swords and the high priestess so I mean just flipped out so that tells I mean I haven't opened the card yet but these cards already flipped out so person B could be healing they could be connecting with their spirit guides maybe gone quiet on person A so show me show me person B what's your action eight of swords well both of you are stuck in your head for some reason why the eight of swords I thought you were moving away to peace and happiness. What are you thinking about? Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands, Two of Cups, Devil. <laughs> I think person B still feels a very strong bond towards person A. Okay. Yeah, you know what person B is saying? I don't know what I'm going to decide, Omkara Taro, but um, uh, if they take action towards me, I, I don't know. They don't want person A to rush towards them or come very slow. It's like, like don't, don't not come and don't come too quickly with too much passion because they're a little scared. They want to take that time they want time to even if person a comes back it's like show me consistency let's be friends first i mean don't like i said don't not come and don't come like don't rush in uh maybe person b is expecting some kind of an apology or something and then they want to wait and watch and see okay let me think about it let me see whether you know you've changed or not 
but heart of hearts i think person b still sees person a as their soulmate who's hurt them as their partner as a per- as a person they've always wanted whose hand they wanted to hold right so somewhere i think i think i think this person is going through multiple thoughts at the same time where they're doing all the question answers in their own mind that you know yeah they'll never come but if they come then they'll be cheating on me again what if they are still toxic what if they bring drama into my life so if they do come back spirit please tell them to first apologize and take it you know step by step and mm, person b is a little confused i would say not confused they've been hurt so badly they don't want to repeat what happened in the past yeah they they being a little like they kind of being a little guarded okay you can come but then don't come too close don't push me uh, you guess you can apologize to me i'll wait and watch if you offer me commitment then maybe i'll try again otherwise you know i'm going to guard my energy i have other options i can go towards basically person b is a little discontent because this didn't work out and somewhere deep in their heart that they still feel person a is their soulmate i know a lot of you put comments and saying no we are done with them but but deep in your heart if things had gone well i think this this person was your wish and now when they're going to be coming back you may not uh, you may not want to believe them again because you don't want to repeat that pain again of the past so what's the moon in reverse spirit yeah see say right under that so uh, person b is, this is person b wanting to know the complete truth it's like i'll wait and watch if they are transparent with me if they come and apologize to me well maybe we can move forward if they come in correct right and if that happens i think person b would feel very victorious if person a actually comes forward with that you know big offer puts in that work proves that they've kind of matured up right but i don't think person b is expecting it so it could come as a bit of a shock to them and which they for a minute they may say i don't believe this all right so that that's what i have for you cancer till next time then love and light take care namaste